Have you ever wondered if plants could communicate? Well, they can in two ways. So first we have root exudates, which are released into the rhizosphere, or the region of soil that directly interacts with the roots, as you can see highlighted in red. These exudates are primary metabolites, with an example being strigol. Due to differences in concentration, they pass from the leaves of the plant to its roots using the phloem until they reach the root cap. From there, they are secreted into the rhizosphere, with one of the many uses being to attract soil microbes. These microbes are pretty cool, as they help to recycle materials in the soil into nutrients that the plant can use. This interaction serves as an example of mutualism. Both organisms benefit, as the micro gets a good meal, while the plant gets stronger through the availability of more nutrients. However, that's not the only way these plants can interact. Take, for instance, the interaction between barnyard grass and weeds. When the barnyard grass feels threatened by the competing weeds, it will use root exudates to signal its good friend rice. This triggers the rice to release allelochemicals, which inhibit the growth of the weeds and results in their death. But wait, can you smell that? Well, it's the second form of plant communication, VOCs. VOCs are secondary metabolites with high vapor pressure and low molecular weight that allow them to travel great distances. These compounds are released to the stomata, or the tiny openings on the leaves of plants. Whenever the plant is under attack, in this case by cutworms, it will call for help by sending out VOCs in the hopes of receiving aid. For example, if a wasp were to recognize the compound, it would fly to the plant to feed on the cutworms, saving the plant from the annoying pest. They can even warn other plants of the attack in advance. An easy way to think about it would be comparing it to a war. Each troop would represent a leaf, and each platoon a plant, with different platoons representing different plants. If a threat were to emerge that the platoon couldn't handle, they would be forced to send out a message, or VOC, to nearby organisms. For instance, they could send out a message to a nearby platoon warning them of the attack. Another option would be to alert nearby allies of the threat so they could come to their aid and repel the enemy. But you may be wondering, why is any of this important? Well, by learning more about the interactions between plants, we can better our understanding about ecosystems as a whole. And in the future, scientists can both improve the health of plants while also increasing the sustainability of agriculture.